Hi there, Reese, the Autistic Arborist here from Mid Wales again, um, doing a review on my Stiga SBP375 backpack blower. Um, had this machine for the best part of a year now. Here's a fabulous bit of kit. She hasn't seen too much use in that year because I've got to be honest, I've been out of the game a bit, but we're getting back into it now. Um, few specs on it. It's got a 75.6 cc two-stroke engine, puts out 3.1 kilowatts. Um, it's got an airspeed or an air volume, airflow volume of 25 cubic meters a minute, with an air speed of 100 meters a second. Um, it's got quite a large fuel tank. I want to say it's 3.6 liters, which gives you a huge amount of run time, um, even with the big 75.6 cc engine. Um, it's got obviously quite a large diameter tube, um, a lot bigger than some of the machines on the market. Um, I've got it with just the nozzle on at the minute, but there's also two extensions if you're taller. Um, but I find it easier to move about, store and transport with just the one extension. It's also got a clip on the back strap to hold the tube up for storage. Um, that's quite a nice feature to come with it. Um, it's got adjustable handle that slides up and down on the tube and you can change the angle of the handle itself. Um, obviously being a backpack blower it doesn't have a safety interlock on the trigger. The stop switch is a rotary switch which also includes the um, uh, cruise control. Um, it's got a really really heavy duty air filter. It's a um, two piece air filter, automotive style cartridge in there um, as well as a foam pre-filter which obviously feeds down into a 100mm elbow on the carb and a, there's a 2-inch there's a two, two 50mm elbow on the air filter so she gets plenty of airflow to breathe but mind you she needs to be in a big engine. Um, on this machine um, you've also got a, a non-automatic non choke so it's a manual choke it doesn't come off with the throttle when you touch the throttle so full choke is there, half choke is there, no choke is at the bottom um, it's got an easy spring assisted start system on it which makes a nice easy start. Um, she's always been a good starter, I've never had any problems with it. Um, even been uh, not had much use which is nice. Um, it's uh, got a very, I'll oh, spin it around for you to see. Um, very comfortable back pad on it, nice wide padded straps. Um, both sides, take the twist out would help wouldn't it, that way. Um, emergency quick releases on the, both the, the straps so if obviously the machine was to, or you were coming to any difficulty or there was a fault with the machine or in the environment you were working in you can quickly disconnect the machine to use your escape route it's got a very very well padded back plate um, very similar to a um, lightweight fell running backpack in sense it's, 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 it's quite narrow in the middle nice shoulder plate and then a very good back and hip plate for the strap strain that come around your waist um, and they're padded most of the way around to the front adjustable in quite a large array of positions for different sized people um, like I said there's the clip which is movable for uh, the stowage of the nozzle you can also use that as a restraint to re to counteract the uh, air forces on the nozzle if you're uh, using it for long periods of time so you can clip it in and adjust it so it doesn't pull to one side which is quite a nice feature um, other than that, that's about all there is to it really. I'll just uh, show you quickly, just to show you. I'm sure you're not interested, but I think it's quite a nice feature having a proper air filter on these machines, especially blowers. They intake, they obviously kick up a lot of dust, and if they didn't have a good filter, they would intake a lot of dust. So just take these two wing nuts off, make sure they're all the way out. Cover comes off. Really dense foam pre-filter. The only dirt that's in actually on that filter you can see there in all the time I've used, it's got about 15 hours on it, yeah. is from me actually taking it apart to see how much dirt is in, in there. Of course, on the very top of the foam filter, you can see there is a bit of fine dust, but nothing major. That goes back in there, and that's where you'll find your big pleated automotive style paper filter, which gives a massive surface area and traps the really fine stuff. Um, and there's plenty of room in the top there for airflow into the engine. That obviously goes back on. And then there's two points on the back, which locate with two points coming out the fan housing. Drop it back on and do the wing nuts up, and that's all there is to it. Um, on the air filter on them, spark plugs there. Um, that really is all there is to it. He's a simple beast. So, but yeah. Um, would I rate this machine? Five stars. Phenomenal, ph phenomenally powerful machine. Um, 
very adjustable and comfortable in the operator side of it, the back harness. Um, easy to start, um, low maintenance. Um, it's just a really good machine, just all round good machine. Um, it's not too heavy either, which is nice. Um, don't get me wrong, it is a heavier machine. It's almost 80cc. Um, it is one of the bigger boys on the backpack blower market, but it doesn't feel heavy when it's on your back, so. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.